So here I am, I'm logged in as teacher number one, and I want to go in and make some uh, edits to my Java programming course that I'm starting to develop. And you can see I've added another resource here called a, a unit one quiz. And what I would like to do is I want to not have the scroll of death. As I continue to add resources and activities, this page is going to grow and grow and grow. In fact, we look at 1.9, where I have a copy of the original course, you can see it's a long scrolling page, real ugly <laughs> interface. Uh, students have always had the ability to just show one topic at a time by clicking um, a box to show one topic at a time. So we're only showing topic two, and they could use the jump to menu to go to other areas of the course. But they had to go in and manually do that. All users did, the teacher and the students. And I want to avoid that. I just want to show that by default. So what I'm going to do in my 2.3 course, I'm going to set this up. And you can do this in 2.3, set it up so that the students can only see one topic at a time. And the way I do that, I'm going to um, go to my settings. I'm going to edit my settings. And under settings, just under the description menu, I've got my um, topics format. And right below that, I can decide to show everything, either all sections on one page where it's a big scrolling page, or only one section per page. And I that's the way I want that. And other sections will be hidden in collapsed form. I'm going to leave everything else in the default. So I'm going to save the changes. Did I save the changes? There, I saved the changes. Now, it might not look too much different to you right now, but if you see the, uh, the activities are hidden, all I have here are the course names, the, or the topic names rather, and the description of that topic, but I don't see any activities. And if I were to click on a, a topic title, I see that uh, the activities appear, and I can scroll through the page, or the pages, topic areas, using this navigation. And I can go back and forth. And it, this, this section is just in one section, I can see the, uh, the topic. So that's great, that's exactly what I want to do. I'm going to go back to my introduction. And I want to um, see all the topics again. And what I want to do, uh, again, I don't see any of the, the, the actual activities. I'm just seeing the topic headings and the descriptions. I want to turn editing on because I don't want my students even going into this topic area until they get they can pass the unit test for the, the prior previous unit. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to edit this topic heading. So this is the, the title and the description. I'm going to click that editing key. And I could um, control access or restrict act access by date and time. But I'm going to do it by a grade condition. So far, I've only got one gradable activity, and it's not even functioning. Let's do that. And it's the quiz one, unit one quiz. And I want them to have at least 70% on that quiz before they even see the next topic area or be able to enter the topic area. And I'm going to save my changes. So that means they won't be able to see any of the, uh, the activities in this, this area until they get at least 70% um, on, the, on the topic. So let's just to show you that, I, I should drag another activity in um, to the other section. Otherwise, it, you won't see it, how it works. So let me do that. Um, I've got an audio file here. So I'm going to bring that down to, that be topic three. Oh, wrong one. I'll just mute, move that down. This is just a, an, an MP3 file. What's Java used for? So I'm going to bring that down to here. Layout managers, that would be topic four. Of course, it's not cooperating. Try 
try that again. Ah, there, <laughs> I did it. Probably have too many things happening right now. This is just just, uh, just an audio file. Um, what is Java used for? So that's all that In is. In the early days of Java, it was Stop assumed. it and go back to my course page. So students, uh, if I restrict the activity for this one as I have done until they get 70% on that quiz, um, they will be able to see this topic and um, they can see this topic, but they won't be able to see this inside this topic. They won't be able to see, be able to see this uh, uh, applet here or flash file. So I'm going to log in as one of my students and I've allowed, uh, I've changed a setting in my course that teachers can log in as their students. So I'm not just switching my role to, but I'm actually going to log in as one of my students. So I'm going to do that by going to my navigation. I'm going to go to participants. And here's Carrie Grant, my one and only student. And I, under my settings, with his profile showing, I can log in as him. And it says, you're now logged in as Carrie Grant. And then it says, number one teacher, you are logged in as Carrie Grant. So uh, here I have just my topic outlines. I can't see any of the uh, content yet. And um, lo and behold, that um, data types and loops, that's not showing at all. It's, it, it's completely hidden. So if I go to my introduction, I can see everything there. But I go to layout managers, I don't even see the data types and loops. I can keep going. Yeah, so that's missing completely now that I'm Carrie Grant. I could have it showing in grayed out form, but I guess I didn't do it that way. But um, yeah, the second topic area isn't even showing. So they have to get 70%. And I told them in the quiz itself, you must attain a score of at least 70%, of at least 70% on this unit quiz before proceeding to the next topic area of the course. And I could have that for all of the topic areas. They have to do uh, pass the unit test in order to continue. So I'm going to go back to the course and I'm going to log back in as me by just clicking my name and log in.